In June 2020, disaster struck when the landing gear of a US Air Force F-35 Lightning II collapsed upon landing at Hill Air Force Base, Utah. Seemingly marking the end for that particular aircraft, valued at close to 100 million US dollars. However, a solution has since emerged, and the damaged F-35 is now poised to take flight once more, years after its mishap, thanks to the donation of new parts from another retired aircraft and tens of millions of dollars in cutting-edge repairs and development. So what's driving the US Air Force to consider this expensive, groundbreaking project? Join me as we delve into the details of this intriguing development and explore the challenges and possibilities that lay ahead. In late November 2023, the 5th Air Base Wing Public Affairs Team announced that at Hill Air Force Base, Utah, F-35 maintenance experts are taking on a seemingly impossible task. Stitching two mishap-damaged aircraft together into a restored, fully operational F-35A Lightning II, an aircraft that the engineers playfully refer to as the Frankenbird. Led by the F-35 Joint Program Office, or JPO, the project requires a dream team of uniquely qualified individuals from the JPO, Lockheed Martin, the 388th Fighter Wing, and the Ogden Air Logistics Complex, which serves as a hub for heavy maintenance and work on the F-35. Interestingly, even before the F-35A, AF-211, belonging to Hill's 388th Fighter Wing, suffered its catastrophic runway landing in 2020, Officials from the Joint Strike Fighter program had been seeking an opportunity to showcase a major repair. Drawing from their experience with the A-10 Thunderbolt II, aka the Warthog, and the F-16 Falcon, which involved splicing sections of different aircraft to create one new working plane. The team saw this as a chance to pave the way for future repairs, emphasising the inevitability of accidents and the need for prompt aircraft restoration. Fortuitously, a replacement nose section was already available from an aircraft consigned to the scrap heap. This particular F-35A, AF-27, suffered a catastrophic engine fire at Elgin Air Force Base in 2014 that destroyed the rear two-thirds of the jet. Thankfully, the pilot was able to escape the inferno unharmed, and Air Force investigators subsequently assessed the dollar value of the damage to the aircraft to have been in excess of $50 million. Despite extensive experience in performing major surgery on all their aircraft, the team encounters many unique challenges in their work on the F-35. The project team has likened the process of disassembling and reassembling the A-10 to that of handling a Tonka toy, emphasising the simplicity of the subsonic calibre aircraft compared to the complex fifth-generation F-35. The F-35 stealth profile demands a higher precision level in aligning components and its more uniform construction makes the task of stitching pieces together far more complex than on the old-school 1970s derived A-10. With that said, whilst the A-10 Frankenbird fixes may not demand the same level of labour and precision as those for the F-35, work on the A-10 has served as a valuable guide for the groundbreaking F-35 repair. In fact, Due to the frequent in-depth repairs required for the A-10, the Air Force devised a special fixture, allowing maintainers to separate the aircraft into four sections and stabilise them. This inventive solution inspired the repair team to create a specific modular fixture for the F-35. This fixture not only supports the ongoing repair, it has been designed and built specifically for mobility. As a result, all of the tooling fits into a shipping container, which can then be put on a C-17 Globemaster transport and then flown anywhere in the world for potential use in future repairs. Interestingly, cannibalising crashed or combat damaged aircraft to combine and restore to flying condition is a long established practice. There are stories of this happening during the Second World War with both heavy bombers and fighters, and even as recently as the late 2000s, Northrop Grumman created three two-seat F-5F Frankentiger adversary jets for the US Navy. However, 
The complete array of benefits arising from the proof-of-concept F-35 Frankenbird repair remains uncertain. There are questions about the practicality of executing such intricate work in field locations. Major repairs to any modern military aircraft can be a complex proposition, and the potential issues are even more pronounced when it comes to modern fifth-generation aircraft like the F-35. In fact, deliveries of new Joint Strike fighters have been paused in the past over things as seemingly minor as holes being drilled to the wrong specifications. And so, when it comes to the radar evading skins on these aircraft, gaps and seams are not just unsightly, they have serious negative impacts on the jet's overall stealth capabilities. Consequently, linking up two large sections from separate F-35s into a single unit is not as easy as just bolting them together. Additionally, time and cost factors come into play. Whilst the exact initiation date of the project to create this newish F-35A is unclear, the Air Force has indicated that the jet is not expected to be operational until March 2025, a timeline that is reportedly ahead of the original schedule. This timeline aligns with the recovery periods for severely damaged F-22s. For instance, a Raptor that suffered a mishap at Tyndall Air Force Base took nearly seven years to return to service, and one involved in a botched takeoff attempt in April 2018 at Naval Air Station Fallon required about five years to become airborne again. At the time, the cost to repair the Raptor that was damaged in 2012 was paid at approximately 35 million US dollars. How much it costs to make the other F-22 operational again is unclear. So, even if it costs 35 million to get the Frankenbird back in the air, that would still be less than half the price of buying a new F-35A, which currently comes with a price tag of around 82 million US dollars. Additionally, F-35 spare part shortages have created a situation that could seriously hamper the ability of these aircraft to conduct sustained combat operations in any future large-scale conflict. With this in mind, improved and expanded procedures to repair or repurpose damaged F-35s could also be just as valuable in the context of the broader challenges of sustaining US Joint Strike fighter fleets. While there are currently no other F-35 candidates for Frankenbird-style repairs, the knowledge gained from the ongoing project will undoubtedly influence future endeavours. The process has been meticulously documented and will be used to establish standardised F-35 procedures that can be seamlessly integrated into routine operations in the future. The team has even expressed the possibility of stitching together different F-35 variants, such as the Marine Corps F-35B and the Navy F-35C, forming a truly joint hybrid if they prove interchangeable. As a result, it is clear that there are many elements to consider when evaluating the feasibility of this project. The fact that the Frankenbird is even going through this process at all points to just how valuable each F-35 is, and it seems the idea of combining two damaged examples to create one fully operational aircraft does have relevance, especially in a world with an unknown and potentially volatile future. Thanks for watching. That concludes today's video on the F-35 Frankingbird project. If you found this exploration as fascinating as I did, let me know in the comments, push that like button and hit subscribe for more captivating content to come. Until the next time, remember to stay adventurous, stay curious and keep exploring with Air Land Marine.